We will now manufacture the part. Move to Select Machine. Remember, at any time, feel free to use the online tutorial. I'm currently adhering to Workflow Turning Metric 2, the chapter called Selecting a Machine. There are two areas inside Select a Machine. The left hand panel shows available machine tools or post processors. The right hand panel displays current kits, and these are created in the Toolkit Assistant. Select sample Lave 2CY and the toolkit named Workflow. Select Next and ensure that initial component is set to Auto. The machine is now loaded and the chuck jaws are automatically set to the correct position. Toolkit Manager is found in the launcher and on the left hand panel we have families of parts and here we see Workflow Lave 2CYMM. On the right hand side and pressing this command you will see tooling associated with that particular kit. Double clicking this particular turning tool will allow you to view specific detail about that tool. Logically we now move along the workflow ribbon. We now meet a single icon called Feature, Feature Finding. A feature represents a machinable characteristic of a solid model. You will be shortly attaching two paths to each feature. Take a little time to peruse the dialog boxes and observe the pictures which simply describe the functionality of each command. Hover over the question mark symbol and you will see context sensitive help. As you are working on a machine tool capable of both turning and milling you are offered both sets of features. Ensure that the turn features are set here as seen on the screen. In the milling area, ensure you have open pockets, open mill and vertical holes activated. Furthermore, in the select planes area, ensure that axial is turned on. Dismiss the dialog box and you'll observe that the new features are now displayed in the feature window on the left hand side. I'll just take a little time here to make things a little bit easier on the eye by changing the view. Let's move it into the turn position. As you pick on any item in the window, the corresponding feature will highlight. Double left hand mouse click the feature, the resultant dialog will display feature information. Change the datum to axial in order to access a mill feature. Double click now a mill feature, you can inspect the information. Change the datum back once more. If you have missed a feature, you may relaunch the feature finder command as many times you wish. Moreover, if you have found you have too many features, you can delete it from the window. The feature will be moved into the bin view. You can right hand click these features and undelete it. We will now move along the ribbon bar again to the planning board where we will be ready to manufacture the part.